removing, removing forests, as we have been doing, is devastating to our long-term economy. We might look to other countries, such as Haiti, for advice. Ranked as the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, its poverty has been directly attributed to the degradation of Haiti's forests. Will we allow Nova Scotia to see a similar fate? Healthy economy means healthy ecology has to be in place in order to have a strong economy. So big industry has accused us of producing a report that was not science-based, and sadly, some people have believed it. Despite 110 references or more, I guess it's more than 110, listed in the back of the report, plus two research addendums. We heard whispers that government also believes that there was no science. I hope that's wrong. That's what's been going around. Well, I had my husband bring a large duffel bag. I don't know if he's here. He was bringing Albert Marshall over from the other site. I brought some of my references, but apparently they're still in transport. It was a really heavy bag. <laughs> Actually, I left the biomass references at home because there's 77 of those. And anyway, I stuffed them all in a bag and they're somewhere. But will you believe me when I say that we had the science? We had the reputable science. We spent days and nights. I spent my Christmas holidays going over biomass and writing the biomass research addendum. And I asked the government to read the biomass research addendum and the clear-cutting addendum. Read the report. There's science in there. People like Peter Salonius, Dr. Bob Seymour from the University of Maine Forestry were key and paramount to their concepts were leading the paradigm shift that we spoke of. If you don't read their reports, because we couldn't fit them in the 17 pages that we were informed that we had to write for you, if you don't read those reports, I'm speaking to the government here today, then you cannot understand necessarily what we meant by changing to an uneven aged forest, ecosystem-based forest management approach. How serious is government to find the solutions? Good question. Are they planning to rely on the same old science that led us to the current state of our forests? That's the concern, isn't it? The same set of biased assumptions, the agro-forestry approach. I heard Mr. Parker speak on the radio this morning, and he mentioned about cleaning up the waste wood. That's an agroforestry based assumption. Read the science and change the thinking. You have to read the science. How dare government foresters and industry criticize our scientific advice from Bob Bancroft and myself when these very same people have clearly failed and failed so miserably the results of their forest management expertise and their science lies in the ruins of former forests. They've had decades to prove themselves. They clearly demonstrate their lack of reputable science over and over again. I'd like to make an apology if I still have a moment, Jamie. I need to apologize to all the sm small woodlot owners in Nova Scotia who were led to believe that Bob Bancroft and I delivered recommendations that would harm them, take away their rights, force them to do things they didn't want to do. This simply was not true. We did, we did not recommend mandatory management plans on private woodlots. That was a steering panel recommendation uh, for which I've never heard the reason for the recommendation because no one's ever phoned us to, to ask us questions. Large or foreign have... owned companies are here to make their shareholders rich. That's it. Yeah. It's up to you. It's up to you to care for your woodlot.
As forests rapidly disappear throughout Nova Scotia, it is predictable that there will be increased attempts to gain the resources from small woodlots. That's an ecological concern as well as a citizen's concern. Keep Premier your Dex. Eye on China. <laughs> yes, keep our eye on yes, the news that happened this morning. And finally, I'm drawing to a close here. Premier Dexter, I have a message for Premier Dexter and uh, Charlie Parker, Mr. Parker. There is an erosion of faith in public processes. That is why you're yeah. here. Yeah. That's why you're here. To Premier Dexter and Mr. Parker, take the science seriously. I expected follow-up. I expected questions. Bob's phone didn't ring, neither. You have a homework assignment. Because I used to be a high school biology teacher, so here it goes. Write it down if you're listening. Number one, read our report and yeah. our research addendum. Read it. Yeah. Yeah. Read, number two, read the references that were central to the paradigm shift that we spoke of. The scientific papers of Bob Seymour and Peter Salonius and Raymond, the foresters out of Quebec that recently published a paper, they're all in there, they're referenced. And thirdly, everybody can do, do this, Google irregular shelter wood. Google irregular shelter wood. Not uniform shelter wood, no more even age management. Or let's lessen that. Learn what these terms mean. What does tree marking mean? It's required by law on Crown lands in southern and central Ontario. Maybe we should consider it here. Learn these terms. That's your homework assignment. And finally, move towards uneven age management as we've all suggested. Reduce the clear cutting, but do it carefully. 50% reduction over five years 50% reduction from today is not the same as the 50 cent reduction that we suggested a year ago. The numbers game. And be careful how you define clear cutting. Don't overlook terms like seed tree release, mosaic cuts, variable retention. Those are clear cuts too. If you're a redback salamander and you're this big and it's 30 degrees out on a sunny day and you got to get from here to there, the seed tree release site feels like a clear cut. Make a meaningful real change to clear cutting practices and make it soon. Shift the silvicultural funding to support this change. Maybe get back that 90 million dollars from Northern Paul Peg. And put that to implement good forest practices, sustainable forest practices. And finally, the regulation on whole tree harvesting can be put in place in short order, so make it so. Let's get on with things. Thank you for your time.